last video I said I was going to pull this apart and start uh, painting the chassis and all that stuff. But instead I left it together and I started experimenting on overclocking the CPU. I've said in past videos that I really don't know much about overclocking. And so I just started going into the BIOS after reading a little bit online and uh, messing around with the settings in there. And let's see. I got it overclocked now to, let's see, 3451. So that's 3.4 gigahertz, a little bit over, approaching 3.5. And normally the processor runs at 3.0. So that's a pretty decent overclock. I'm um, up to 230 on the bus speed. And I really don't know what I'm doing. Um, I just keep messing around with, uh, you know, the settings inside the BIOS. Here is the main board, the M2 N MX SE Plus. It's just a business board. It's not like an overclocker or anything like that. So we got one gigabyte of RAM in there. Um, I just, I really don't know what I'm doing but I do have it at a decent overclock right now. But every time I try to um, reset the computer, like turn it off and turn it back on, I get like a CMOS um, error. And I don't know why, because I put in a brand new CMOS battery. It could be some conflicting drivers with um, the new chip or something. I just don't know what it is. So really what I need to do is um, I need to update this operating system so I can um, make sure all the drivers and everything are, are right and try to get this overclock to be stable because right now I can't really repeat this. Every single time I turn it off I have to go in there and redo all the settings. And I am only working with one gigabyte of RAM like I said and maybe it's also slow RAM it's PC2 5200 running at um, I think it's supposed to be at 667 megahertz maybe when I get this new RAM that I ordered from China it's um, two four gigabyte sticks and it's running at 800 megahertz instead of the 667 and maybe that'll help stabilize it I don't know maybe if I update the operating system with all the proper updates and drivers and stuff and anything that the ASUS website has. Maybe if I put in a new power supply, I don't know. I'm Like I said, I usually use like um, the motherboard utility to do overclocking. And this is kind of fun, just trying to figure it out. So 3.451, I don't think that's too bad if I can get it to stick instead of um, erasing it every time I go into the BIOS. But um, I think I'll show you what's going on. I'll try to reset it right now and show you. Let's close this out and I'll shut it down. Turn it off. And then I'll try to just turn it back on and see if it works. A lot of times it'll just hang when I try to power it back on or it'll the light will come on, this fan the fans will go up and then just shut off. So let's see. See, and then I get this um, CMOS check some bad. I don't know why. Um, I have a new CMOS battery in there. So I'll run setup and let's go to jumper free configuration. See, the AI auto clocking, overclocking, I mean, um, went back to auto. And I had that on manual. It won't, the overclock won't stick. So, I don't know if that CMOS battery is bad. I did order those off of eBay. So, maybe they showed up in the mail dead. <laughs> it's kind of cool though. 
I feel like I'm learning a lot about overclocking, even though it's just kind of trial and error. Two beeps means bad. I failed. Run the setup. Oh, it's still on manual. Look at it, kept those settings. So let's go to um, chipset voltage. We're going to put that on auto, and we're gonna put the, mem the memory down to um, two volts. Since it kept those settings, it kind of like makes me want to just adjust a little bit of stuff. 266, maybe I should drop that back down to 200. All right. Turn it off. Two beeps. Ah. All right. Fuck this. We're gonna try it one more time. Okay. Put it to like 105 chips of voltage. One volt. We'll do the memory on auto. Chipset. Switch to 266. Let's see what happens. Oh, it didn't power down. It didn't power down. And we only got one beep. Ah, uh, <laughs> start windows normally. Uh, well, that usually means no overclock, but maybe. We won't know until we check. But I can tell like when this stuff loads super fast, Oh, well, that kind of looks like an overclock, because it da-da. And then when um, CPU-Z loads super fast, it kind of seems like there's an overclock when it's super fast. See, watch. Oh, that's overclocked for sure. See how quickly it's loading? All right. We're back to three, four, five. We're still like a little bit under. Oh, there it goes. It just bumped to three, four, five, one. All right. <laughs> Uh, this crazy motherboard and memory. I just don't know what I'm doing. That's what I'm dealing with here. I have no idea what I'm doing. And sometimes I get the overclock and sometimes I don't. But I can't get it to stick. I can't turn this off right now. And turn it back on. And have the overclock on. So, I'm super bummed. I don't know what to do. Anyways, if any of you guys have any advice if you know about this stuff let me know in the comments thanks guys later